Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go over some terminology here and some equations for what we're going to need in lab today. Um, so for this capital N here, that's going to be the number of turns in the coil. So you've got the primary side and the secondary side of the transformer. Okay, that number of turns is how many times that coil in the primary or the secondary, okay, how many turns there is physically in that. And I think some of the videos explain that, but that's what that's going to be that capital N. So that N sub P, okay, or NP is going to be the number of turns in the primary and NS is going to be the number of turns in the secondary. Okay, VP is voltage across the primary, VS voltage across the secondary. All right, IP and IS, same thing, current through the primary and current through the secondary. And then KVA is going to be kilovolt amps, okay? That's what that's gonna stand for. So what is volt amps? That is um, volts times current. And what is the formula for power, okay? P equals I times V, okay? So current times voltage. So you see where we're going with this. This is basically, basically gonna equal our power. Okay, now over here, some call this the 100 year calculation. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but uh, anyway, so this is what we're going to be looking at as far as lab today. NP over NS, so that's the number of turns in the primary divided by the number of turns in the secondary equals voltage over on the primary over voltage on the secondary equals current on the secondary divided by current on the primary. So we've got P over S, P over S, S over P. So we have to make sure that we understand that that's basically flipped. But if you perform these with the data that we, were, that we will gather, these should all equal one another, okay? At least really close, all right? Now, we also have KVA primary equals KVA secondary, okay? This is nothing more really than just saying power in equals power out. So whatever we put into this, we're gonna get that much out. Now, because this is a transformer, it is going to change the voltage from the primary to the secondary, okay? So if we look at the relationship here, we've got Primary, or sorry, primary over secondary, primary over secondary, secondary over primary. If we look at this, and we're going to be looking at these things as ratios, this calculation, or this, this product here is going to equal this, is equal this, okay? So whatever NP divided by NS is, that's the same number as you're going to get when you divide VP by VS, or IS by IP. So all of these calculated numbers for each one of these different things should equal one another. So what that's telling us is if I have 120 volts in, okay, and I get 60 volts out, what is that, okay? That's 120 in and 60 out, okay? That is a two to one ratio. We've got twice as much here as we do here. Okay, let's say that, th that it is 120 in and 40 out. Okay, if this is 120 in and 40 out, there's three times as much here as there is there. So that's a three to one ratio. Okay? Now, looking at it kind of the opposite way, if we've got 120 in and 240 out, there's twice as much here output as there is on the input. So this is a one to two ratio, okay? Now, if it's 120 in and 480 out, okay? That's a one to four ratio, 
okay? So if I've got 120 volts in, 240 volts out, that's a one to two. If I've got 120 in and 480 out, that's one to four, okay? When the voltage increases, okay, your current is going to have to decrease to keep the values the same, okay? If your voltage increases, that means, like I said, the current has to decrease. If your voltage decreases, that means your current has to increase. And if it's a ratio like this, let's say that we've got 120 volts in and 60 volts out, okay? That is a two to one ratio. So if on this, I've got, let's say, um, let's say it's 20 amps on the primary side, we've got to balance this. So what we'll have here, if it's a 20 amps in, okay, on the, on the input side, okay? On the output side, to balance this out, if it's a two to one ratio, there's going to have to be 40 amps on the output side, okay? Because of this relationship right here, okay? These things have got to balance out. We have got to equal the same on both sides, okay? So if we look at this, all right, voltage primary divided over voltage secondary. Let's see, we'll do this. We'll do this right here. No, we'll just use that. Here. So we've got 120. That's our primary voltage over 60 which is our secondary voltage. So we've got VP over VS equals our secondary current over our primary current. So let's look at this. 120 divided by 60, that's two. 40 divided by 20, that's two. They have to equal out like that. So, what you'll find as we go through this lab today, we will be doing these kind of calculations, okay, off of some stuff that we measure, okay? And there's some more information that um, I will go over here in just a second that'll uh, help you out too. So, in this lab, we're going to have a chart that we are going to be putting numbers into, measurements, and then calculations, okay? We are going to have Okay, so for this lab here, what we're going to have is we're going to have this column right here is going to be wherever we're connected, okay, on the output side of the transformer. So for instance, this first one here on this lab is that we're going to have our output connected between X1 and X7. So that's what that column is. That's a given it's no big deal. So the second column is voltage. Okay. That is going to be the voltage we read across this output of our secondary. Okay. The next one is going to be the ratio. So that's just what we talked about. Figuring out that ratio of 2 to 1 or 1 to 2, however much that is, that's what we're going to put in here. Okay. Now, that last one is percent tap, okay? That last one being percent tap, that is, that is something that I'll go over um, here in just a minute. But let me show you some, 
some other stuff here. This is going to be, we're going to say for calculations for the lab, that this voltage is going to be VMX. Okay? The ratio there is going to be VP over VMX. Okay? So voltage output. Okay? We'll just say VMX. Voltage primary, voltage MX. Now, this voltage primary, we're going to set to 120 volts. So we're going to get this ratio by dividing 120 volts by that um, the VMX, this here, and we're going to get some ratio. Now, percent tap. So let me kind of briefly go over what this is talking about here. All right. If I've got my transformer, okay, I've got my secondary winding here. I mean, I'm sorry, my primary winding here. Primary winding here, okay? And I've got my secondary winding here, okay? Now, what this means is that for instance, on my very first one there, since it's a 2 to 1 ratio, okay, I know that I've got 120 volts here, okay? So that's across these points right there. That's 120 volts, okay? That's what's coming into our transformer. Here on our secondary... If I measure across this full secondary at a 2 to 1 ratio, what am I going to get? Well, we already calculated that. That's going to be 60 volts. Well, what this percent tap means is when I measure across that full secondary, that is a 100% tap. That means that I am taking into consideration that full secondary winding. I'm measuring 100% of the output of that secondary winding. Now, what I can do on many transformers is let's say that I measure um, from here to that point on the transformer. There may be a, what they call a tap or another connection point at different areas along that transformer. So what I might get is I'm going to get some other percentage here because my ratio is actually going to be a little bit different. Okay? Because let's say that instead of getting 60, what I measure here, um, I get uh, 40 volts. Okay. Well, now all of a sudden that's a three to one ratio. Well, what I'm going to do is on that percent tap, okay, I am going to calculate it VMX over voltage of the secondary. Okay, and that is going to give us a physical percentage there. Okay, so you have your primary being 120 volts. Okay, your secondary at 100% tap is going to give you 60 volts. So that's going to be your... Um, VS there, okay? So it's going to be VMX over VS. So that VMX, if I have a tap here, okay, at a different spot, and I get 40 volts, 
I apologize about what I said earlier. Scrap all that. Um, but anyway, so VMX over VS, okay? So the MX is going to be what we measure here. So it's going to be 40 volts over VS, which is going to, to stay a constant 60 volts because that VS is at a 100% tap, okay? So 40 over 60, okay? So that's going to give you a percentage of um, two thirds, which is going to be a 66% tap, okay? So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today in lab. I'll have this lab sheet ready for you, and then we'll answer some questions on there too, okay? So um, if you have more questions about this, hit me up in lab and we will, uh, we will go over it. Thank you.